Today we're gonna talk a bit about Fena and how it is to live on the road as a three-year-old. We get the question a lot, um, when does Fena have to go to school? I think that's one of the questions people ask us the most. The answer is that she only has to go to school when she's six in Belgium. It's only mandatory from that age. Uh, for now, because she's only three years old, so we have three more years to think about it. In the meanwhile, um, she can't go to preschool like most kids do. And I kind of am uh, a bit sad about that because I know she would love it. And she sometimes asks, can I go to school tomorrow? But instead, she's been going to ski school this winter, which I think is even cooler than normal school, if you think about it. She can ski now, and she's only three years old, so that's pretty great. And there are really good um, daycares in Austria as well, where she's been going to. In Norway, it's a bit harder, so we decided to hire a nanny full-time. And in order to do that, I put a post on social media and kind of, yeah, just asked around, is there anybody who wants a trip on the bus in return for taking care of our daughter and <laughs> who is now coming here but yeah got a lot of replies lots of emails lots of me messages so do you have mama sit down okay so yeah uh i think maybe some people are wondering was fena part of the bus plan fena was definitely planned we really want to have a kid and we were traveling uh, in guatemala mexico and we were like, should we do it, should we not do it, with the bus, is it possible? And then eventually we thought, well, our life is never going to be normal, so we might as well just go for it. And uh, it's been working out pretty well so far. Yeah, and like, so on a normal day, uh, you know, people on the bus go touring up the mountain. What, uh, what does Fena do? What does Fena do? Yeah, I think nowadays when we have a nanny or it's me staying behind on the bus, um, she loves to do arty things and drawing and painting and stuff and uh, or you can just entertain yourself with building a snowman all day it's kind of the easy things in life or like things like baking cookies or making uh, brownies or running around playing hide and seek there's lots to do with a kid this, this age so uh, yeah yeah and so there's quite a few you know international people on the bus and so uh, i guess what language does fena speak to them then i think uh, she speaks even more English right now than Dutch, so uh, it happened kind of by itself. We didn't, Mama. yeah. Okay, so she speaks English very well right now, and we never saw that coming. We thought she would just grow up speaking Dutch, and uh, while the guests last year were speaking English to her, it. I think the first few months she was not really responding in English, but you knew, you, you saw that she understood what they said and suddenly this whole, what do you call it in English, stream of words in English came out and she started speaking English to them and now it's even more than Dutch so uh, that's been kind of a nice extra bonus that this trip has given us and maybe we want to live in an English speaking country one day or when we're traveling it's super nice that she speaks another language so I'm very happy about that um, What language does she speak to you guys in? Yeah, I think right now more English than Dutch as well, so we try to answer in Dutch, but because we live here between all these international people as well, it's quite hard for us to keep speaking Dutch. So we'll see where that goes. And how does Fena tend to get along with all of the, the bus people? <laughs> there is two kinds of people in Fena's life. You have the people, and then you have the people she knows by name. And then like kind of people who come back in her life constantly, or like her grandparents or stuff. But the people who come and go, and she really doesn't really get to get to get to know, she doesn't know them by name. Um, but in general, she likes people. She loves girls more than boys, but I think that's with uh, <laughs> most girls his age. And uh, if it's like a girl coming on the bus, whatever nationality she's from, Fena will sit on her lap within a few hours, probably, and give kisses and hugs and everything. With a boy, it might take up to months or weeks, days, depends again on the person, but it takes some time. <laughs> so on days uh, when uh, Ben is staying back on the bus, what are some of your favorite things to do? Um, favorite things to do? Eating. I think eating is your favorite thing to do, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. Where does Ben sleep? Where does Ben sleep? Where do you sleep? Can you answer that one? Somewhere over there? Or over there? <laughs> over there. <laughs> Um, Fena sleeps above our feet. There's a cute little bed, and uh, yes, yeah, has her own little nest up there. It's really nice. She likes her bed. She sleeps super well in it. 
somehow we managed to have a kid who sleeps till 9 or 10 in the morning, so it's quite a luxury. Yeah, you guys do lots of traveling, and that takes you far away from family. So, yeah, do you feel like she's missing her family a lot? Um, I think she misses her grandparents a bit, and luckily we have the day and age of WhatsApp and Skype and all those video chatting things. Uh, so sometimes they can just be on there for an hour and talk and chat and do those. So then she shows them all her toys and everything. Um, but yeah, we, we miss family, but I think it's really good that we're back home after every season and kind of... Uh, and she sees them very intensely because we just drop her off with the grandparents and she can be there for a few days. And um, she, I think it's good for her that she knows she has certain things that always come back in life because everything else changes so much that she has these things like grandparents or my sisters or like whatever that always come back. And I guess one last question is what do you see Fena's future like? What What's next for Fena? What's next for Fena is a, a good question. It's, it's We've been thinking about it all the time. Our plan was to put next winter online uh, before the end of this winter but we've only got eight more days and we have no idea what we're gonna do next winter. Um, I think also with Fena and like, do we want to have another kid or not? Like, it's uh, decisions we have to make at some point. But yeah, like I said, for now we still have three years to kind of think about it, and um, we we don't really know yet. But the first plan we're gonna do is travel around Canada for a month with Fena, and uh, see how life is over there. And uh, yeah, these were the most frequently asked questions, and I think we answered them all. But if you have any more, let us know, and um, we're always. Happy to share tips and tricks about traveling with kids on the road because I think it's an amazing thing to do and I'm really, really happy we uh, did it. Mm -hmm.